morning guys it is wednesday the 6th of december it is now just coming up to 6 a.m i've been up since 5 30 and uh yeah layla is still sleeping it's the first time she's actually slept past 6 a.m in a few days which is nice before we start today i wanted to show you where i got up to last night i have basically finished the first mitten <laughs> i say basically finished not quite finished the body essentially of it i still have the thumb to finish and then i've got to pick up stitches pick up stitches and do that's upside down pick up stitches and do the flap for the top the convertible flat part so that i knit that all in a day and i'd done maybe five rows of the ribbing before layla went to bed so that was like all in a couple of hours worth of knitting really really quick but for now i'm gonna sit back enjoy a couple of other people other people's vlogmas videos and um knit a little bit more So like it's awake yeah say hello to everyone she's still a bit stuffy but she's actually slept longer than she has done in the last couple of days so i feel that's a good sign in terms of today's plans i am planning to get out the house today um yeah it, feel, it feels like we've just been home all the time since well this week which is kind of been the case and i personally don't mind just being at home all week um sometimes we just need that but we had that last week and i still need to get perry's christmas present i know what i'm getting him and um so layla and i are gonna go out today and go pick it up i could order it online but i think it'd be more fun to go and pick it up in store um especially because i can pick it up locally like i don't have to go too far to get it and I thought it'd be nice to get out of the house. There are a couple of other bits I'd like to pick up while we're out. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd go do some Christmas shopping today, <laughs> essentially is what it is. So just kind of, I'm gonna aim to be out the door by around 9.30. <clears throat> it's almost seven now. Aim to be out the door by around 9.30. That way she can have her nap in the stroller whilst we head out. And, um, and yeah, and then hopefully we'll be back by the time she needs to have her lunch nap. Um, and if not, then we'll roll with it um, and see how things go for the day when we nug it. Yeah? we have it first mitten is done minus the um, ends being woven in but that took less than two hours of intermittently working on it whilst looking after Layla this morning um, well since I woke up so I had a little bit of time before she woke up and mostly did the thumb and then I just picked up for the flap bit of the glove when she woke up and uh yeah so i just knit all of that this morning so all in all this mitten took me probably around four four and a half hours to knit for one so pretty quick gift knit and i've knit the larger size in the pattern just for uh reference ready to go i'm actually wearing my snow day shawl which i haven't worn in quite a while but i'm really liking how squishy and soft it is and it's not too big and bulky so it's great for a day like today when i'm going to be going in and out of lots of shops so i'm probably going to be taking it off and putting it on and it's not too big to have to carry around you ready you look like you're ready for a nap so it's 9:15 and we're at the house earlier than planned which is good although some of the stores I need to go to aren't going to be open until 10, but 
no big deal. We'll go for a nice walk and might pop into a couple of other places. Stupidly, I forgot to bring a hat. It's quite cold. <laughs> We're looking for some little hair clips. I think you found some. Yeah? What do you think? It's not too bad, is it? Where are you going? Where's Layla going? Can't find Layla. So I'm heading home now, basically done, got Perry's presents, got some of the other bits I plan on getting, got a couple more presents for Layla, just books, and um, and yeah, there was one, there was a couple of things I was looking for that I couldn't find, but it's okay. I'll figure either out a DIY version or something else. Hey honey, enjoying your phone? Yeah? What do you think, Derek? So we're back home. Layla's had a lunch, she's now sleeping, and I've just had my lunch and finished weaving in the ends on the first convertible mitten. So it's the first one down, left hand down. We'll do the right hand now. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break from doing this and put away some of the shopping stuff. I'm just gonna relax. I think I might actually start knitting the heels on those socks just so that they're so that they're done, and um, and yeah, and then if I have time, I will start those freaking sleeves. I know I keep saying this for like three days now, but it's just the one thing that gets keeps getting pushed back. I really wanted to start these mittens because I knew they wouldn't take long, and they really haven't. They really didn't take very long at all. Um, so I'll probably do the second one either tonight or tomorrow, just depending on how other things go. So I finished adding in one heel before Layla woke up. So this is what she currently looks like. She's currently standing in her bed. So I think it's safe to say that nap time is over. Oh, and I thought I'll, I would uh, let you guys know that the contrasting heel used about three or three and a half grams of yarn for that sock. So that's a 64 stitch sock on 2.25 millimeter needles us ones so that used about three and a half grams um about three grams say three and a half to be safe um of yarn and i did the modified heel flap adjustment as well and i did the heel and garter stitch so <laughs> just to give you an idea i get asked the question a lot about whether or not you can get a um, pair of socks knit with contrasting cuffs heels and toes out of a 20 gram mini and I genuinely can I have do a 20 row cuff and I just explain the heel and also um, toes as well so I typically can get a pair of socks with contrasting cuffs heels and toes and just to give you an idea if you're just going for heels three grams typically is enough to do one heel in you know in the pair so you'd need about six to seven grams for a full pair um, worth of heels so just to just thought I would include that little tidbit of information here for you. Being a little terror. I'm trying to the camera now. <coughs> well, we had a pretty good day out, to be honest. We were we very productive. Layla was very well behaved. Oh, thank you for hitting mummy. Yeah, 
Why don't you just sit still for one minute, huh? Can you do that? Can you sit still for one minute? I don't think she can. Alright guys, that's it for me tonight. I will sign off now and see you tomorrow.